Dion Wynn. Hi everyone, welcome back, maybe welcome to the very first time and I'm back again with another review for you but from a very familiar face to this channel and that is from Hong Sang Soo. Earlier this year I actually reviewed his film Introduction from Berlinale and I'm very lucky enough to see his Cannes premiere film, his second of 2021 because we love two movies a year from Sang Soo in front of your face and this was his first film at the festival since 2017 but what has been really interesting about Sang Soo over the last couple of years is how he kind of is exploring more of narrative and I think with Kim Min Hee a few years ago he kind of was not stuck but just making banger after banger with her but now I think it's kind of interesting how he's kind of slowly going out of this phase and with introduction we looked at youth and what life is about for young people and now with the friends of your face it's more about middle age anyway enough introducing let's get talking sang ok has never lived in a high-rise apartment and she wonders how a sister can live at this height every day a few days ago she came back home to stay at sisters and is now re accustomizing to life in korea but while seeming to keep a grave secret to herself she manages to live life one day at a time. Right, this film is complexly simple and honestly I think it's one of the most emotionally open films that Sang Soo has made for quite some time because it deeply resonates with him and I think for us as an audience we can sense this rapport of repression because I think during this lockdown we have kind of had to keep things to ourselves at times because being in confined spaces doesn't always mean we can be weak I think and sometimes we have to hide our demons and this dream that sang -ok has kind of burdens her for the whole of this film and it's only 85 minutes long but it just maintains everything what sang Su is about everything within his oeuvre we see all the delicate framings that he does the zooms the close-ups the music, the beautiful dialogue, and this deeply methodically connecting kind of ambience. And when you go through this whole film, it's it's a lot more tightly framed than most Sang Su's, and it kind of obviously parallels with the title in front of your face. And it's very soul-searching, I think, within its actual photography and its execution. And actually, Sang Su actually did everything in this film, from the cinematography to editing, composing everything the only thing that he isn't credited for is sound so this you can that's the personality of this film is everything that song su goes for i know that he's a very kind of makeup as you go along kind of director but i really felt such a, a strange connection with this film and there's definitely a lot more narrative focus here as well because sometimes we can just kind of meander through very weird kind of conversations that don't really make sense within his films but here i just think he just sticks to the point a lot more and i think he really just shows what sang ok is going through and what she's kind of repressing and there's a lot of kind of exploration of frustration living within kind of different times soul search and closure we look at morality our mortality even it really just builds a lot of kind of layers in such a short runtime and this kind of sense of frustration that she has it really just opens up a bit more but as we kind of go out and then we see sang ok being with Ja Won, who is played by the Hong Sang Soo alumni Kwa Ha Yo, he really just gives so much life to it. And I think the conversations between Sang Ok and Ja Won are really just what make the film so interesting. And it takes up at least half of the runtime. But I just love this kind of exploration. And it's kind of that sense of release that she has. And I think Lee Hee Hyung is really emotionally powerful in this film. This is, I think, her first ever film with Sang Soo also. I know she was a very popular actress at one point in South Korea, but I've actually never seen a film from her before. But I really just enjoyed the way that she kind of maintained the whole purpose of the film and really blending so well with what Sang Soo is about. And there's just so much within this film I just admired and 
it really burrowed deep in me and I connected so much with it. And I think it's one of the best Hong Sang Soo films I have actually seen. And as I mentioned, I'm on 20 plus films from him now. And it's it's really up there with them, I think. And I know I'm very positive about Sang Soo films, but I, I truly admire the man. And I think, as I've said before, he is really the Eric Romare of, of Southeast Asian films. Uh, he's a master. And In Front of Your Face is just another soon to be classic from him. Right then, that was my review for In Front of Your Face. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a few more reviews uh, from Cannes I've been lucky enough to see uh, over the next week, couple of weeks. I'm very busy with work at the minute, so just be patient, but there's Benedetta, Titan, a lot of good stuff. So patience is a virtue and I'm, I assure you I will be back with more. And thank you very much for taking me over to 800 subscribers. Much appreciated. Hello new subscribers. Hello subscribers. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.